All right, what's going on dudes and welcome to the third and final installment of our look at the new Minecraft 1.9 snapshot 15W31. If you missed the first two videos, we went over stuff in the overworld, we went over the new Ender Dragon fight, and now we're gonna be checking out all the other new stuff with the end. So this is all gonna happen through this new end gateway. Every time that you beat the dragon, you get a new one of these that spawn somewhere around the island. A beacon will indicate where they spawn at first and then it'll fade away. So in order to enter one of these things, you'll need an ender pearl because it's obviously kind of a small little thing and then you'll either need to build up to it or you can try to, uh, to hit it directly from the ground. You can now throw ender pearls in creative, so we'll go and give this a try and I missed. So I'm just gonna go right up to it and uh, throw an ender pearl in. And now we're off into a brand new part of the end. It's super cool, so now it's loading around us. All right. So this is now, uh, it's basically, as far as I can tell, an infinitely generating end, right? So we have a bunch of islands and as we go, more of them will spawn and um, it is some pretty awesome stuff. So this right here is if we clear out some space in our inventory from the end of our last uh, Ender Dragon fight, we've got the chorus plant. So these just grow all around, um, all around the end islands that you'll get to when you enter the, uh, the end gateway and they're pretty darn common. You can actually make stuff out of the uh, the drops when you break one. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. But for now, why don't we just take a quick look around and um, and go and explore some stuff. So actually, it looks like right off the bat we found one of the uh, the really really big ender end towns, whatever you want to call it, um, end dungeon, end towns. This is actually not as big as it gets, but this is a uh, uh, a larger one. So as you go around all of the islands, you'll find you'll run into these things, and you can actually go through them and loot them in order to get. Uh, you can get some really, really, really good stuff out of them, actually. So why don't we actually try going and taking a run through one of these, seeing how well we can do since we are equipped with a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm gonna switch over here into survival, and let's give it a go. So first and foremost. New mobs. These guys right here are called shulkers, and now they're gonna fight each other because... <laughs> Good job, guys! You fired at your friend instead of at me, and now they're angry at each other. So, it's short for Shell Lurker, and it's basically these dudes are disguised as blocks, and they'll fire these homing projectiles at you, and if you get hit by one, you start levitating. It's a new uh, levitation effect. You can see it again in the upper right-hand corner, and... Also in here and they'll levitate you and it's actually, it's kind of useful if you're inside. Um, but if you're outside it can be a little bit scary if you then get dropped and <laughs> you just took his friend out. So they disguise themselves as blocks and then when you get near them, they open up and they actually start shooting stuff at you. So we'll try to get a close up. Hey, buddy, how's it going? There you are. What's up? And now I'm levitating. Alright, so let's enter inside here. We can also, oh, nope, can't go back down. Stop. Shifting won't do anything to save you. I'm gonna actually take one out just so you can see what it's like to uh, to kill one. So here we go. Pretty quick. He's dead. I have a sharpness three sword, so it works out. All right. So here we go. Let's go up this thing, and um, now we get to the uh, the parkour area. It's not like this part isn't super duper parkour, but I'll show you um, in one of the bigger structures. You can actually get some really really crazy. Um, three by three wraparound parkour kind of stuff going on. In fact, I wonder if we have it in, we do kind of have it here. Just a little, you get a little taste of it here in this structure, some new parkour, and I'm getting shulkers firing at me, in fact, which is uh, kind of good. Um, thanks for the help, because now I don't need to do the parkour. So it looks like they destroyed one of the chests, um, but here's some of the loot that you can get in these structures. It's, uh, it's pretty, I'm gonna keep levitating until I take these dudes out. In fact, I can't move, it's glitching me into the ceiling. No, stop, stop it. Stop! Oh god, floating up to the next level, and we're on the roof. Um, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me down. Four, three, two, one. Come on, and there we go. Okay, so we can take you out, and take you out. All right, come on, come on, die, I didn't get him. Nope, 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 I'm back out. Oh god, this is not working. This is not working at all. <laughs> Stop, he keeps, oh god dang it, he keeps redoing the motion effect on me, please. Uh, well, give me just a moment to float up a little more. Oh god, there's a dude on the roof too. You know what? I'm just gonna go over here. So on top of just this main structure, um, you won't find these with all of the different dungeons, but some of the dungeons, the bigger ones, have these ships, and you can go over to those as well, and they have some really, really good loot in them. 
uh, that you're able to pick up. Anyway, let's run right back in really quickly. Hopefully I'll be able to clear this room and collect some of that loot real quick. Come on. And it was right over, oh God. No, oh, terrible, terrible job. Uh, so those are end, uh, what are those? End rods, I think is the name. They're kind of like torches, but you're also able to stand on them. And uh, they're part of like the parkour puzzle that, uh, that's involved with this whole area. Oh geez, one sec. Okay, come on. I gotta clear this chest. I gotta clear this chest. All right, parkour over there if I mess. Okay, well, we're levitating now. Uh, <laughs> one moment. I am gonna get you. You've caused me so much trouble. Stop! Oh my god. Not again. Not again. And we're floating. This dude. This dude is the bane of my existence. All I want. All I want is to get this. One sec. Let me just. There we go. You're done. It's all over. And at this point, all of the items have. Actually, I did get the items. So, projectile protection four, unbreaking three, like really, really good gear. Five diamonds. We got some iron out of it. And uh, as we go up, we'll find um, we'll find even more stuff. And um, so, the shulkers, they can help you, they can hurt you. Uh, it all depends on what you're trying to do. So, I'm just, for the sake of saving time, gonna fly on up to the top of this place. And we'll see what other loot there is. Because um, usually you get uh, some better stuff at the top, but in this case, we don't actually have the big big uh, building uh, when we get to the very top of the ship usually actually has some pretty awesome stuff so let's take a look at it normally you'd have to build up or ender pearl over obviously but here we go it's got a beacon indicating it and look at this unbreaking two fire protection four some more iron ingots fire aspect two sharpness three unbreaking two proje protection four pretty pretty good loot so this is um this is like the the big this is what the big overhaul to the end is for the most part, you get these sort of miniature islands um, in between the, the bigger ones, and you can keep going on and on, and uh, it'll keep generating new islands in front of you. You can keep running into these big dungeons or smaller dungeons. In fact, if we go to some new islands, we might run into uh, some smaller ones, so you can get a look at the, the range that you can see these end cities, end dungeons, whatever you want to call them, and you can see the range that they spawn in. So, uh, unless I see one here really quickly, oh yeah, there we go. This is, oh, this is a very, this looks like a pretty, pretty big one that we've got over here. I'm getting lucky and running into the big ones. This, again, is not as big as it gets. Um, it gets even bigger than this one, but I'll go ahead and jump over to that one and, uh, and show you what sort of the, what I think the maximum size is and then all the other stuff that comes along with this portion of the end. So here we go. This, from what I've seen, is about as big as these end dungeons can get. This one is pretty, pretty darn massive, and uh, it would take a really, really long time to clear it in survival. But once you get up to these sort of bigger uh, expanded out rooms at the top, those are where the loot is located, at least in the, the main structure. So here we go. We can walk on over here, grab this. We've got an ender chest that we can loot. We've got uh, some gold in there, iron, and also we've got a ship over there. The bigger ones always do come with the ships. So here we go. Here's the, uh, the big... The big parkour area. I tried back in in the stream where I was messing around with this. I tried making it up in survival through this parkour. It's without placing blocks, I should say. It's uh, not the easiest thing in the world with these um with these end rods. They ah because their hitboxes only actually how big they are. They're it's a pain to make those cornered cutting. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay, there. And there, and then it's not so bad here until you get to the next corner jump, and then you're like, Aah! Anyway, it's rage-inducing. So I'm sure there will be some people who, like, speedrun this parkour, get rid of all the shulkers, and then do it uh, without any levitation help. But here we go. Once you make it to the top, um, we've got some more chests with some fancy iron armor, diamond horse armor, diamonds, fortune one pickaxe. Like, it's really, really good stuff that you get here. But again, it is endgame, since you already made it to the end, and, um... You know, you probably have a bunch of good stuff by the time that you get here. Anyway, here we go. Let's take a look at some more of the stuff. Pretty good pickaxes, more diamond horse armor, and finally, uh, we can take a look at the ship and just see what that has to offer before we head on down and uh, just check out a few more bonus things before we wrap. So there we go. <laughs> this stuff all just spawned here naturally. Um, no, no placing it for the sake of the video. It's yeah, just some really, really good stuff. Anyway, all right. So now that you've seen sort of the the max dungeon size, 
Why don't we head back down where I've set up uh, just the remaining stuff that comes along with the end in the snapshot. So, here we go. We got a dragon head. It's pretty awesome. Right now, you can't craft it. It doesn't drop from the dragon. I assume it will drop from the dragon um, in a future snapshot. So, if I grab it out of here, I can also wear it. Again, you can get it in creative mode. So, here, let's replace that. And now, look at me. <laughs> and as I walk, the mouth opens and closes. Pretty awesome. And uh, so if we go and uh, if we put it on a redstone block, the mouth will open and close. I believe if we apply a redstone signal to it as well, it'll do the same thing. You can place it on an armor stand. It just basically acts like a helmet with the addition of the super cool mouth opening and closing and all that good stuff. Um, so next up, we've got uh, end stone brick something, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. So if we put end stone in a crafting table or in our head if we're in survival, and uh, put it four by or two by two. We'll get end stone bricks, and that's just one of the things that these these big dungeons are made out of. So, if you don't want to harvest it from there, and you'd prefer to just make it yourself, you get it from uh, placing down the uh, or crafting the end stone in uh, in a grid. Next up, we've got the uh, the purple slabs, and before I get into those, we should probably go over uh, these these dudes over here. So let me switch on into survival, really quickly. And this is really cool. When I destroy one of these, it's this really cool chain reaction. So boom, I'm gonna destroy the bottom, and it does this whole chain reaction thing. And uh, so these are the uh, the chorus plants, and when you destroy them, they drop chorus fruit. So here we go, I'll punch another one. Get that nice like chain reaction here. Let's do this really, really big one over here. <laughs> Super awesome. So these are edible. Um, it's just a little bit dangerous. You don't want to be standing next to an edge when you eat them. Otherwise, you may end up over the edge. So I'm going to stand right in the center here. And uh, I'll eat one. And when I do, it actually teleports me. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Make sure you're not near anything hazardous. And we'll eat another one. And uh, cool. Just teleports us. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty normal food. Now, if we throw the chorus fruit... Into a, into a smeltery or into a furnace. Um, smeltery, we're not Tinker's Construct here. It'll turn into popped chorus fruit and you're able to use the popped chorus fruit in order to craft these purper blocks. Not purple, it's pur purper. Uh, Cause cats or something like that. So if we take the popped chorus fruit and we put it in a crafting table like so, we get four pur pur pur. Oh God. Four purper pur each recipe. And then if we want to make some slabs, we can also do that. And then if we want to turn those slabs into pillar blocks, we can do it like so. And then we can also make some purple stairs. And those are all the different types of purple blocks. And again, these are the blocks that are used in the whole Ender Dungeon thing. So if you want to make them yourself, you can using the chorus fruit. And these can actually be planted in the overworld if you bring them black. Uh, actually, I think they can, right? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm incorrect. Um, if you, I assume if you mine it with Silk Touch, you might be able to get it, and then you can actually bring it back into the overworld. But let me check this out really quickly. I'm going to see if I build up to it, and I haven't tried this yet. But if I destroy the, uh, the flower... Yeah, okay. So if I destroy the flower, I can actually take that, bring it into the overworld along with some endstone, and then I'll be able to plant it and grow some in the overworld. So that'll work for you. Anyway, that is, uh, that's basically it for all of the things that came with this um, this snapshot update. So, a lot of stuff. Again, if you missed any of the other two videos, they're linked in the description, you can check them out where we went over all the other things. But pretty, pretty exciting. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, a rating would be super duper very much appreciated. Maybe we could go for 1531 likes or something like that. <laughs> From 15 to 31 to 1531. May as well. All right, well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully uh, there will be some more smaller updates in, uh, in the near future, and uh, we'll check those out. Until then, I'll see you next time.